A few weeks ago, I made my first ever first person shooter. Well, if you can call it that. It's more like physics meets parkour with guns. Regardless, I built out a prototype and you guys seem to really like it. So as promised, I'm building out a full finished demo of my wacky physics based parkour game. But I kind of accidentally made this into a speed running masterpiece. To begin, I started by adding an outline shader to make my objects pop and a brand new font for a more comic style I want to go for in my visual aesthetic. Of course, we can't create a speedrun parkour game without some obstacles, so I made some spikes to damage the player and knock them away for some rage inducing moments. And I added a speed ramp, which can be used to move super fast and make large gaps that were before impossible. Then adding new mechanics like the air dash, and hazards like water and lava, we can start actually building out real gameplay with new levels. Wait, pause the game. Lots of things are being added, but see, I want this game to create a new style for my games as I move forward. So getting things right is key for me to build a proper branding around my games. I'll talk about this more at the end of the video, but just so you guys are aware, big changes are coming in the new year to this channel. Anyway, coming back to our game, I need to build out an actual level design for my game's demo. While building out my map, I really want to mention the sponsor of today's video, Soba. Huh, this volcano kind of looks like a donut or something. Anyway, Soba is a game creation platform that lets you build games from the comfort of your phone with zero coding involved. They also have a huge drive for creating multiplayer experiences, so all projects on Soba can be created as online multiplayer games. Kind of liking the idea of this house scaling situation, but Soba also allows you to get familiar with the building blocks of programming logic with a fun and creative node system to get beginner programmers started on their path of development. Currently, the app is not yet public, but just for you guys, if you type in the referral code Reese on the website's waitlist, you can get started as early as November 27th, which is the day that they give this community access to Soba for free. Thank you, Soba, for sponsoring this video, but with the finished look of the map, I'll have to start building out as much of this level as I can within the next two days before I need to upload this game for you guys to play. All right, so let's start with our little donut island volcano. I wanted to build a zone on the map where you would need to hop on mushrooms and jump on rocks to avoid the lava at the base of the volcano. This would be our danger zone where you can actually die in the lava and have to restart your playthrough. The next area I need to build is the city zone where you need to scale up buildings and use all of your parkouring skills to the best of your ability to get the egg at the top of the highest structure. I added in some other visual effects to the game like particles and textures, but unfortunately when I tried recording gameplay with the grass texture on, it looks like shit. So I added in a setting to turn grass texturing off in case you are trying to record a speedrun. Building both of these levels and adding in all of the finishing polish ended up taking the full 48 hours. So yeah, this is the finished map of the game's demo. All right, and now we are playing through the actual game for the first time. So I'm going to try to get all three of the eggs that are found on the map, and then we can see how good I am at my own game. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the volcano first because I feel like uh, if I die in the lava, well, that's not gonna be great. I actually, oh my God, I got hit. I got hit, I got, I fell. Well, this time is going to be horrendous, but we got up onto the volcano. And now I'm gonna just try to shoot across these bounce pads. I'm almost missing them. That's really bad. Okay, we're gonna shoot up here and collect our first egg. Perfect. Okay, come on, just land back on the platform. Make sure to jump over these spikes there and collect that second egg. And now we just have to complete this last section, this house section, making it through the water and going across this jump pad. Got to make sure we watch out for these spikes as well. Oh, whoa, did not mean to do that. All right. Oh my, we're, we're in the wall. I just went in the wall. That's awful. I can't believe I died right before collecting the last egg. All right, we're going to do this again. Attempt number two. Attempt number one was awful. We're going to do the proper strategy. I'm going to go for the right egg first and then hopefully I don't actually mess up. So this is gonna be my second attempt. Make sure we disable that grass and let's start.
There we go. And now we should be able to just complete the level. And there we go. 71.24 seconds. Well, there you have it. I went back in and tried to find as many shortcuts in the level to cut down on my time and set a real record. Currently, my best time is 48.68 seconds. I've published the game's demo on itch.io with a link in the description. So let's see if you can beat my high score and find other speedrunning shortcuts I couldn't to get a faster time. You can submit a screenshot of your best time to my Discord in the High Scores channel, but if this video does well enough, I would absolutely love to turn this into a full game sometime in the new year. So let's say if this video gets 2,000 likes, which is double the amount that we asked for in the last video, then I will turn this into a full-on open-world speedrunning parkour game. I hope you enjoyed this little experiment of expanding my first ever 3D game, but this will be the last video I make for the year. I want to start preparing for the new year where I start creating new content and building out actual game experiences you guys can download and play. So in preparation for this, I'm going to need some time. But yeah, that's all the news I got for now. I'll see you guys in the new year. Thank you so much for watching this video.